What's good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cab back with another DLC 9 video for you guys today. We are going to be talking about the other character slash potential characters that could be coming within this DLC pack. Now the first thing I want to say kind of has to do with what I already said, the whole character slash characters. Yes, it's a possibility that there could be more than one character still coming, but it's most likely going, going to be one character left within this DLC pack guys if you look at it Super Saiyan God Vegeta was announced in April the next character will be announced in May and then the DLC will be coming out in June so unless they announce two characters in this upcoming D jump it's looking like there's only going to be one other character coming to this DLC pack and for those who are wondering if there was only going to be one character or not no I can tell you guys right now no DLC pack in Xenoverse's history has ever just had one character within it so we will be getting a second character and that's what we're going to be talking about today who I think that this second character could be and i do have a couple of different thoughts slash you know potential theories on who this second character could be and they're all based off of how pretty much every dlc pack has worked up until this point besides dlc 7 besides dlc 7 which featured kefla and baby vegeta every other single dlc pack made sense they they had cohesion with each other like gogeta gogeta blue and full power super saiyan broly those two make sense coming together in a DLC pack. Ultra Instinct Goku along with Jiren and um, Ranger 17. All three of those make sense coming in a DLC pack. And moving on, like that, every single DLC pack, like I said, besides DLC 7, made sense. DLC, the one with Super Saiyan Rose, Goku Black, and Zamasu. Then we had Merge Zamasu, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito. All these DLC packs have made sense and have had cohesion in them. And that's what I'm basing my theories off of within this video right here. What characters could possibly make sense for them to add at the same time with Super Saiyan God Vegeta? And the first, the first character that comes to mind and a lot, obviously came to a lot of you guys' mind as well as I've been seeing in the comments of these DLC 9 videos, you know, with the confirmations and things like that. I've seen a lot of people talking about the man's Wrath Broly or base Broly, you know, that transforms into the Wrath version being very, very possible. And I, I can't rule that possibility out that is definitely something that we could see within this dlc pack we definitely could see a base transforming broly in dlc 9 with super saiyan god vegeta because that is definitely a character that makes sense to go along with this man super saiyan god vegeta but then some people may be like cat but we want some new characters things like that well yeah that would be nice but at the same time you also got to think super saiyan god vegeta isn't really even a new character he's just a new version of vegeta we still have multiple versions of vegeta already in the game but he is another version of vegeta and we very well could be getting another version of the man's broly because like i said that uh the base form broly that trend or wrath form broly either or really makes sense and has the most cohesion out of all characters that could possibly come with the man super saiyan god vegeta without question now moving on to my second one which is another one that honestly couldn't make sense because this is another form of a character just like how super saiyan god vegeta is another form of vegeta that would be omen ultra instinct goku Omen Ultra Instinct Goku is another possibility, something a lot of people have asked for through the, um, the DLCs ever since the Mastered UI was released. People always wanted a Omen variation or an Omen UI Goku as well because that's a lot of people's favorite UI out of the two. And honestly, it's my favorite Ultra Instinct form as well. Like the Mastered is cool, but that Omen Ultra Instinct just looks, it, it just honestly looks so badass. Like that's the only word that really comes to mind when I'm trying to describe ultra instinct omen goku it was an absolutely dope transformation and like i said a lot of people would like to see that within xenoverse 2 and since we're getting another variation of vegeta as dlc why is it not possible to get another variation of goku in a different form as dlc as well because like i said there's all those versions of vegeta already in the game all these versions of goku so why not have a goku and vegeta dlc pack it kind of does make sense like i said i'm going along the lines of actual cohesion with this dlc as opposed to two just random characters that really don't make sense together because we've only had one dlc pack like that and that was dlc 7 
So, so far, guys, I truly believe that both of the characters that I've mentioned in UI Omen Goku and Wrath Broly are definitely, definitely possible. But I do have one more character on this list that I do think is a possibility to happen within Xenoverse 2 DLC Pack 9. And it's a character that's already been announced for DLC 9 in the man Vegeta, but the Super Saiyan Blue Ascendant form of Vegeta as well. Now, it kind of sounds crazy to even think that we could possibly have two Vegetas in one DLC pack, but honestly, besides the other two characters that I already mentioned, who else makes sense for being added as DLC with the man Super Saiyan God Vegeta? The only three I see making sense, like I said, is Wrath Broly, UI Omen Goku, and then Super Saiyan Blue Ascendant vegeta as well if super saiyan blue ascendant comes though obviously that would make this a full-on vegeta dlc pack with two different versions of vegeta now is it something that is highly likely no but it's something on the other hand that kind of does make sense at the same time because besides broly and ui omen goku who else could they really add that would kind of make sense with vegeta who would they add paragus like really the mans didn't even fight in the, in the anime. Maybe we can see some other Dragon Ball Super Broly characters. Maybe like the Dragon Ball Super Broly Bardock. Literally, that just came to my mind while we were talking about this video. But that is another character that is definitely possible to come with this DLC pack. Because again, I'm trying to think from the movie and then from other characters that could still make sense in going along in a same DLC pack as Super Saiyan God Vegeta, and that's where the UI Omen Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue Ascended Vegeta come in as well. But those are the four characters, guys, that I truly do think have a chance or are more likely to actually come within this DLC pack because I spent a lot of time thinking about this. And, and honestly, besides those four, I, or really those three, and then how I just thought of Bardock in this video, I could not think of anyone else that would truly make sense to be added within Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC pack 9. So yes, I truly believe that either Wrath Broly, UI Omen Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Ascendant Vegeta, or the Dragon Ball Super movie um, Bardock will be that last dlc character that we will get confirmed in this upcoming um this upcoming month's v jump and of course when that v jump just does drop i will have a video out for you guys as soon as possible to give you guys the update on what that actual last character is going to be but i want to hear you guys' thoughts on each and every single character i talked about in this video down below in the comments be sure to let me know what you guys think about the different characters i had um I said could be added and if you agree or not on whether or not they could be added and which of these would you like to see the most out of all four of them as well and don't feel uh i don't know what i'm saying i'm kind of i want you guys to reply as much as possible in the comments and things like that but i also want to see you guys' thoughts on what characters you think could possibly be coming to xenoverse 2 dlc um pack 9 in the near future with um with super saiyan god vegeta and if there's any characters that i missed maybe that would make perfect sense to go along with super saiyan god vegeta in a dlc pack that i did not talk about within this video now one thing that i do want to mention guys that i kind of forgot to meaning i'll probably have to mention it in tomorrow's video as well actually two things and the first and foremost is this upcoming week sub saturday guys i forgot to mention in the beginning of this video i was going to do that but again i forgot to do so so we're going to mention it right here and basically guys this week sub saturday is going to be your sickest combos ever on xenoverse 2 but with cast characters in particular i know it's a lot easier to create the combos with cac's so when we get into the cast character only it kind of makes the combos a little bit more doper in my opinion because i know there's much more of a thought process i guess you could say going into those because you're very limited to the actual moves that you have as opposed to a cac you can literally use any moves in the game for the most part and try and put them together to make an absolutely sick combo so again send your clips of your sickest combos with cast characters on xenoverse 2 to the discord email or twitter all linked down below in the description and the second thing i wanted to mention really quick that i was going to mention in the beginning of this video is if you have not subscribed to my second channel and you are a gotcha gaming fan of any kind whether it be dragon ball legends dragon ball dokkan battle super dragon ball heroes i did make a second channel just for games just like that and i actually have made videos on all three of those in the last month on that channel as well so if you did not know about it be sure to check it out i'll also have that link down below in the description 
description be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and have that bell on on that channel as well so you know when i'm actually um uploading and things of that nature over there but as always man thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed let me know your thoughts on all of this down below what characters i may have missed things of that nature but i've talked enough at this point so we're gonna get up out of here again really hope you guys enjoyed until next time hope you have a good day peace y'all